Hi, Justin Moore, General Manager of George Moore Chevrolet, and we are at the Classic Maven Boutique in Springfield with my new friend, Chastity. How are you? I am wonderful. Thanks, Justin. How are you? I'm great. Good. And you are the... I am the proud owner of Classic Maven Boutique. Proud owner. Yes. How long have you been doing this? We are in year five. Can you believe it? Year wow. five. And we are Jacksonville's award-winning boutique that solely caters to curvaceous divas. Uh I love curvaceous. Yes. Yeah. Very charming building when we drove up. Thank you. Have Thank you been you. in this building all five years? So we actually relocated from the Arlington area over here roughly about two and a half years ago. Okay. We chose the Springfield area after doing a lot of research and due diligence because of the growth, the diversity, inclusion, um, and the marketing aspect of the area. So since we've been here, we've absolutely had a ball. We've met so many new people. Um, with SPAR and SAMBA, it's given us an opportunity to continuously network work and grow. Classic Maven actually started out of my own personal pain experience. Um, after my third child, my weight just bloomed. And I was having the hardest time finding age appropriate clothes for myself and my size. I would shop at local boutiques because I always love the personable experience. But what I found is that we were always missed. Curvy women, um, a lot of attention was not placed on our sector when it came to the fashion world. So I decided to grab the bull by the horns and start Classic Maven and we have been around the world in and out of the United States we are awarded Best Boutique several years in a row and I think for me the thing that I get out of it the most is that we advocate for plus-size men and women so what's the furthest you've shipped something um, Australia Australia is the furthest place that we've uh, we've shipped merchandise. We have traveled to Haiti, we've traveled to Cuba, um, and this year we're traveling to Mexico. We have a brand ambassador a photo tour that we do every year, and our goal is to hit all nations. That's our goal. That's awesome. That's our goal, thank you. How has your business been affected this past year? So if there's anything that I can say about COVID, it has caused me to pivot. So in a good way, in a bad way, we know that we're in the midst of a pandemic. However, it has caused me to think outside of the box. Whereas we were focused solely on foot traffic for our brick and mortar, it has caused us to shift our focus to online. So whereas we are accustomed to traveling and meeting our clients face-to-face -face in local pop-up shops, um, it's caused us to put more attention on our customer base online, more so to speak. How do you acquire the clothing? So I travel. I meet with a lot of manufacturing companies. We've gone in and out of the country. Uh, right before the pandemic hit, we were scheduled to go to China to meet with private label companies to get our own private line. That's still a goal of mine, but we've just had to ship. So we work directly with manufacturing companies on the West Coast as well as down South. It's important to let your customers know and, and give them the reassurance that you put time and effort into what you're selling. Um, for me, there are certain companies I won't deal with because of the quality. And I think my integrity and my business goes a long way than being able to say, I made a quick buck. And when you share that with your customers, they know that you've taken time to put them first. It's a win-win situation. We're open for brick and mortar. We actually would have customers come in. We would offer them water. Do you want wine? We wanted to create a shopping experience that kept them comfortable and they could just be themselves. By the time the customer would leave, the first thing they were saying is, I'm coming back.